Hi, this is JP Morgan. I'm headed off on another great adventure here on the Silent Winds. But the issue that always comes up is traveling with batteries. Lithium ion batteries especially. So we're gonna talk about the things you can and can't do when you're traveling with lithium ion batteries, what you can take with you, how you can protect them, and the process you need to do to be able to solve things for TSA. So let's get started and see what we can do. But seriously, let's talk about batteries and flying with them on the airplane. Our segment today is sponsored by IndiePro, a great maker of really high powered batteries for the photo and video industry. We'll talk more about them as we go through our segment today. But our issue is what batteries can you fly with? You can still fly with all of your normal AAA, AA, C, D, it doesn't matter. TSA does like you to have these in their original containers and not just loose in a bag because they're afraid of them shorting out with one another. But you can carry as many of these as you want in your carry-on, as many of these as you want in your luggage. No restrictions on these whatsoever. So, really the issue becomes lithium ion batteries. Since the galaxy explosion, everyone's super concerned about lithium ion. The reason is, is inside of a battery, and this is an IndiePro 170 watt battery, inside of the battery there are two, compa uh, two compartments or chambers. Between them is a thin piece of plastic. If that thin piece of plastic gets breached, they start to a chemical reaction in them and they will explode. It's extremely rare. Consumer reports say about one in a million of these will fail, whereas one in 13,000 is the likelihood that you'll be struck by lightning. But that doesn't change the fact that we've had galaxies that have exploded and had problems, and so now lithium ion are under really close scrutiny. When you're traveling with lithium ion batteries, in my mind, they fall in like three categories. One, what you can carry onto the airplane, two, what you can check in your baggage in the airplane, and three, batteries who are already in components and laptops and pieces of equipment. So let's talk about each of those. First off, let's start with those who are in components. This is a Baja strobe head. This Baja strobe head has a lithium ion battery in it. That lithium ion battery is in the Baja strobe head. I put these in check-in luggage all the time. I have a big bag with my Bajas. It's like four or six heads, they go on the airplane. There's no issue whatsoever. The reason there's not an issue with batteries installed in equipment is because most all equipment, including laptops with large extended life batteries, the batteries are under 100 watts. That is the secret number. 100 watts or less makes it an issue that TSA is not concerned about. So this really includes all of the camera batteries that you're used to, all of your batteries for any still cameras, even most of your motion picture cameras that can't contain a small battery like this, they're under 100 watts. This is a camera a battery to the Canon C200, it's 45 watts. Even the extended life battery is under 100 watts. So there's in the device, nothing to worry about. Installed in the device, goes in the airplane, under the airplane, and top of the airplane, wherever you want to put it in an airplane. That's good. Number two now though is, I have my Baja, and I want to bring spare batteries for my Baja. Now this is under 100 watts, but I can't check this. It's got to go into my personal bag. And the reason is you just can't have these down in the compartment because they're afraid about them shorting or touching or doing something that will cause them to explode. I do the same thing with all the batteries. Even though it's absolutely no problem to travel with the small batteries that run your cameras, this is from a C200, you know, it's 45 watts. But even though you, can, you just can't check these, you have to carry them with you. I always carry my cameras with me as my carry-on when I get on the airplane. So I have a bag that has my cameras in it, and I've got a bag that has, if I'm traveling this way, batteries in it. And it depends on how many of these I'm traveling with. If I'm just taking my cameras, then all my batteries will go in with my cameras. Or if I only have one or two of these extra 100 watt batteries, I'll put this in my camera case as well. But if I've got a huge chute and I need a ton of batteries, then I'll carry a case that has batteries in it. Now remember, these can only be 100 watts or less. And you can carry as many of them as you want onto the airplane without any problem. That's why these batteries are so nice. If you're using higher end video uh, equipment, these 98 watt batteries can be carried onto the airplane. You can bring on as many of them as you want. You just, I mean, as long as your weight doesn't get too, you can't bring 500 pounds of these onto the airplane. As long as it's for personal use and it's for production, you can carry as many of these as you want. You can have eight or 10 of them in a case and you can take these 98 watt ones. If they get over 98 watts, we now go to the third category. And that is batteries bigger than 100 watts. And TSA says you may carry two batteries over 100 watts, but not to exceed 160 watts. 
and they give you permission to carry two of those with you to carry on the airplane. You may not check them, they have to be in your personal carry-on and you may carry two of them. So a battery like this that's 170 is just a little bit too big. A battery like this that is 270, just a little too big. I love these 270 batteries actually. When you're running lights, the LED lights, you see will run a light all day long. That's why I use them, that's why I love them. But I can't fly with them. We do have a document online from IndyPro that shows that this battery is approved for TSA to be able to fly with it. Take that document with you, print it out, carry it with you, and when they ask you at TSA, you got a whole box of like 10 of these, or five of these, or three of these, and they look at it and they go, wait a minute, you can't fly with all these lithium ion batteries. You show them the documentation from IndyPro saying these batteries are at, meet all the criteria, they are not exceeding 100 watts, they are allowed to go on their carry-on, and they, they will allow you to carry these things on. Anytime you can throw paperwork at TSA, it shows you you've thought this through, and you just make a random decision, and you have these batteries meet their criteria, and they do. So now, when you take these on the airplane, you can't just take them onto the airplane, because that's gonna make TSA very, very uncomfortable. So how do you prepare your batteries to go onto the airplane? Even if they are these 98 watt batteries, they have contacts. The contacts make TSA nervous. Like, well, this can, a piece of metal can touch this. It can cause something to be to short or have a problem. So there's three ways you can package these to carry with them, carry them with you on the airplane. Number one, put them in the original box. It says 98 watts on it. It declares exactly what it is. And because it's in that cardboard box, no one is going to be bothered. It's not going to have anything touch the, the uh, terminals. It's not going to be a problem. So that's the first and easiest one. Put it back in its original packaging. If you don't have that, then number two is very simple. You simply take a piece of electrical tape, that creates a protection. Now if the TSA person says, well aren't these terminals? No, those are not terminals, those are just the hanging device that allows the gold mount to go on to its different devices that you use it on. The terminals are recessed right in here and that's completely covered and protected now. And number three is a Ziploc bag. Put them in a Ziploc bag, that gives you protection. TSA is gonna feel like you thought about it and they're not gonna bother you if you put them in a Ziploc bag. Same with these, a little bit of tape. It's just a precautionary measure. They may not call, call you out on it, they may not say anything but it's possible that they will. The more of these you carry, the more likely they are going to say something about it. Small batteries like for your cameras, you throw those into the camera bag, they're not gonna say anything. Any, these kinds of batteries, they are not going to, to cause, give you an issue. But if you're concerned, put a little tape over the uh, terminals and these are ready to fly. So there you have it. There's the three ways to protect your batteries when you're gonna put them on the airplane, just so that you can get through TSA quickly and not have an issue. So just a little call out here for Indy Pro that's the sponsor for our segment today. We know how to fly with our batteries now. The reason I love these batteries, there's several things. First off, they've got a great D-tap on here if you want to take power off from their gold mount batteries. I use gold mount because I just like the mount. I like the way it sets, but they do V-mount as well as gold mount. And also, I love the fact that all these batteries have a USB port, so you can charge your phone off from this thing. For a long time, you can charge your phone off from this battery. So I love these because I use them on LEDs, I use them on cine cameras, I even use them, and probably one of my favorite things, because the A7R2 has such a terrible battery in it, there's a battery plate that they make, IndyPro makes. This battery plate goes on the back of your rig, it goes into the battery compartment, and now I can just simply put my gold mount battery right there, sits on my tripod, and I've got a ton of battery life to be able to run the, the A7R2. It will run this thing all day long, which is so nice. I mean, in this camera especially, because the battery is so bad, you really need that setup. And that's a simple little inexpensive setup. IndyPro also makes a D-tap charger for these, which is really a nice setup. It's a small, compact charger if you're gonna travel. So this just simply plugs into the D-tap on the battery, and plug it in the wall, charge away. That's a really nice little item to travel with, rather than having to carry those great big double uh, battery chargers. I think this is a much simpler system. They've got a great LED indicator here on the side so you can see what kind of power is left in your battery, which is really nice. They have a great construction so that they actually can be dropped and they're not going to disintegrate on you, which is a good thing to have on set because that happens, seems to happen all the time. 
If on the back of your battery it doesn't have the watts, it'll have the volts and the amps. Volts times amps equals watts. That's an easy way to figure out what the wattage of your battery is. Here at the Stein Lens, we're really big on business. So get over to thestunlens.com and buy our business downloads. It's 16 segments that so will help you shape your business. Plus, it comes with a group call-in once a month with me where you can ask all your questions. So get over to thestunlens.com today.